night ever. Yeah, I had to park all the way down here too. I'm oh, parking over here. I want to see who stole my car. I want to kick their ass. Be interested to see at the end though what the uh, the choices are. The ending. The uh, weirdest job came up. Well, there's not much pay in it though. I could do weird as long as it's not some other rich asshole. Well, we do rich assholes De all the time. Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starting. <gasps> moisture farmers. Emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far. All PCS the way picks up. If my PCS picks up, play it though. Since I want really? a free copy, I'll play it. Yeah, in that like I did. The game feels so complete for them not to have. True. Just outside the Navala city. I'll be your PC fix though. They're below the city, actually, uh, in the maintenance room that supports the infrastructure. People live there? If you call it a living. They eat mold and... Uh, Who spells mold that, that way? Steam vents. But they're free. It's a high price to pay for freedom, kid. Hmm. I'll do it. Moisture Farmers, Inc. Cloudpunk HQ. Then I'll send you a nav point down into the vents. I know. Brits. Damn mold. What's a mold? Everything with it. Oh, you gotta have a ool in the EU. I know. They love their U's. Oh. I don't want to run anything. Okay, so we gotta go to the moisture farmers. Is that what Scotty was? Is that his voice acting part? The, I think I don't think he's here anymore. But, um, wasn't he the, the moisture farmer? Yeah, parkour. Yeah, we should be over. I just feel like flying over the the buildings is so much faster. Uh, except when I can't go over the buildings. I can't go over this building. I don't think I can. Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh. Yeah, it's him. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be meeting Scotty's voice very soon. I think the cloud punk thing's over here, isn't it? Ow. Harder than it looks, Chad. Harder than it looks. Okay. So we have, yeah, HQs right here. We gotta pick up stuff. we gonna blow up our car pretty soon. Can you die? Like, if you don't repair your car, do you, like, game over? <laughs> we haven't gotten that bad yet. We are going away from the city? We don't like the city. True. Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It to the vents like with a Z. So edgy. I don't think so. Is it dangerous? I think you voice two other act We're two characters as well, but I can't remember. Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. Just deliver them the pineapple pizza. This is nice food for the people? I think no it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. Yeah, skin the I pineapple pizza like and a piece of hand. Me too, Camus. Well, we'll see what Scotty sounds like, and then We'll find out, or we'll keep an eye or an ear out, I guess, for future characters that sound like the moisture farmer character. We'll find out though. Ow. Ow. If I don't die. Deliver to the moisture farmers. Dude has a heck of a beard though. The guy with the beard in the top right corner reminds me of, uh, the book cover of The Giver. It's like a children's book, but it's like a young adult book. You to read in high school. I think they made a movie of it too? The Giver? I'm gonna assume these are already attached to my car. I love the Giver series. I only read the first one, but um, 
This is a good book. I read the, I mean, I've read the, the, the initial, I guess, giver or part one, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it was, it was a good book. Usually you can't really, at least in my opinion, a lot of high school books that you read, and even college books, you have to read for like literature class or talk about the story of this. You're like, hell if I know, man. The giver was actually a pretty cool concept too, though. It's very interesting. The other books felt like they were connected, but they were. Yeah, I didn't read the second one, or I guess the rest of the series, but I did read the first one and I enjoyed it, so. It's cool that they continued it, though. As long as it's good, though, I guess. Um, like, Ender's Game was a really good first book, and then I didn't really enjoy the second one. What I can remember. Ender's Game was another, like, high school literature book we read. Um, which also became a movie. That's not that that's surprising or anything, but um, yeah, Enter's game was uh, it's been probably been a while since it's been released, but I'm hoping the particle effects aren't looking too crappy on the stream. One thing I was worried about the fog and the rain, they put a hurting on your encoder. Yeah, bit rate's been kind of jumping. Yeah, my bit rate's been jumping by the thousands. Which makes it kind of weird, but yes, yeah, so the fog effects and the particle effects. Your encoders got a real hard, hard time doing it fast. Yeah, in high school, I loved The Giver and Fahrenheit 451. It was like the most young adult. Games became movies. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, ah, oh, we need to make a movie. Oh, shit, what are the kids reading these days? Uh, this book called The Ender's Game. All right, Bob. Call Spielberg. We're making a movie. Yes, sir. Same with like the Hunger Games, right? Hunger Games was. Uh, I don't know if they issued it in high school, but I was out of high school by the by the time Hunger Games came out, so. Harry Potter, obviously, was a huge. The Neo Turin. We're helping the moist farmers chat. Oh, this is interesting. Excuse me. That's scary. That heartbeat. Or is it just mine? They say the, the ending with prayer made no sense to me, but <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, it's uh, sometimes you dig yourself in too deep and you're like, oh, well, we just gotta end it. And it's not always the best. Oh, it's just here. Yeah. Sure is quiet down here. Not nearly as lively as it is above. I'm assuming there's no combat here, so. Goodness, that music, though. Talking about enter a boss fight. Ah, yes, a memory chip. We're gonna a little more RAM chat. Camus is gonna be a bot. Here we go. You, the delivery student. It's Gandalf. I'm from Cloudpunk. I have your packages. Those are no use to me. I can't deliver to the outposts anymore. This is him. None of our vehicles work. The fuel lines froze. You should keep your engine running. Did you, Camus? Just yes. I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? Do the characters know the name Moisture Farmer? Didn't I? <laughs> okay, I'll look at it. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your city. Goodness. It's not my city. Sure it is. You took this job because you were curious, right? Welcome to your poverty, Savani. This is our life. I'm not even from the city. The intense environment. The Eastern Peninsula? Up until last week. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. Dominus, really. My name's Retsu. Rania. 
Cora knows what you must think of the big stack. Uh, that's what we call the city down here. Cora knows. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to the bottom like barnacles. And you know what? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. You've been here a while? Yeah, I wasn't the first, though. Old Zeke traveled out here over a hundred years ago. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone. And Whoa. you had to be ready for the chills. The so line. what was old Zeke's secret? Zeke realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the really? vents cycled cool. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. He figured out how to cross the steam planes with a suit made from old abandoned Hover's insulation layer. Making mold flour? I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. And you took his place as the boss? Weird. I'm the community leader, sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. Intense. The elders living beyond the far rim say they knew Zeke's grandkids. Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk to live off the grid. Away from corp security and the lights and the headaches. Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. You will. Everyone gets them eventually. Doesn't the air smell cleaner down here? Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. <laughs> well, yes. that is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vents cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. Or at least they used to. It seems like all the maintenance systems are going mad recently. We have a saying here, Cora provides. Well, right now all Cora is providing is a new ice age. Interesting. What do you think Cora is? Cora is everything and all of us. Cora is the provider and the caretaker and the disciplinarian. Cora holds out a closed fist and we must push out our chin. Sometimes huh? the fist holds wood. Sometimes the fist strikes us. And yet we must endure. So Cora is your... Salvation. And right now, Cora has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. Be independent. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the corpse. You said you cling like a... what did you call it? A barnacle? Barnacle. Hmm. Harsh and fair words, Rania. I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? Who knows? So, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. We really are starving. Three families. I can give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get going then. I'll see you on the way back. Cora willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Ronia. They gotta jump us. They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile. Temporary. It's a driving chat. Let's go. Deliver emergency Easy. All right. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Can't see very far. Oh goodness, the music. 
Dun dun dun. Alright, just grab bro get there. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a little it's a little down chat. We don't have the roads. Alright. Alright, here we go. Special delivery, pineapple pizza, let's go. Wow, it is that wow, it is really icy here. Who is not joking? Ah Oh look it's a moisture farmer, here we go. See what he sounds like, chat. I was gonna be very surprised if he was the old man, a Twitch streamer with the old man voice. Who are you? I was sent to deliver supplies. Sent by who? Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. <laughs> you need this, it's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said. Retsu sent you? Yes, he said you should take this. Very masky. What do you say? Give it here. The they don't trust us very much. I bet they have their reasons, Camus. Tell you that that the dog sounds so familiar. Oh wait, there's a thing over here. Why didn't he see the fire, man? It's so cold. All right. Broken augments. Yeah, can I become a cyborg? Blue six two. Guys living in a tent. You literally have a shack right here, man. Are all the moisture farmers uh, sound the same? I wonder. Ah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to maneuver down here, chat. This is pretty cool that they like, varied the uh, environment, though. I like that. All right, we just gotta find a good, good spot. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Hold on, dude. I'm going to get some loot. Plain steel. Plus to parts. I brought you supplies. Who sent you? Retsu. It is the same guy. Well, okay. Wait, no, it's not. I ain't seen no one from the stacks down here in years. Maybe. Decades even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token. Or something like that. Uh, thanks. It, paper it's card? just five numbers on a bit of paper. That's right. Thank you kindly for the supplies. Now we even. <laughs> well, thank you kindly. <laughs> we got a paper card, Chet. Game winning item. Plus 10 stamina. Easy. If I'm going the right way, it's like like a monster's down here or something. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Yeah, I haven't found a specific um. Where's the? Here you go, moisture dude. Hello, I'm here too. They already called me on the old GB radio and told me you were on your way. You're the talk of the town, lady. There's only like I'm 10 of you. I'm just a delivery driver. Well, I don't know if anybody has said this to you before, but I'll say it now. Thank you. I like some manners. Uh, thanks. I mean, you're welcome. I'd get back to the city as quick as possible, lady. There's a chip coming. I can feel it in my bones. Nice. Anyone outside is gonna get charted. Go quickly. We're gonna charted. Don't think twice about coming back here. You hear? Okay. Good luck. No, no. Good luck, dude. Charity lightens the soul. That we're such a nice person, Chad. Not the bad choice. All right, let's skedaddle. Um, let's go this way. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, we have to go talk to that guy again. So, it's home we're leaving or something. 
tell him bye, boo? Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, whose car is parked here? Ritsu. Why is he not moving? He's dead. Oh, no. Camus, find us somewhere to park. Hold on, dude. The Wait. security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to land now. Rip. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then you'd be stuck, like the man. Frozen in time. He's not stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, Camus. He's dead. Rip. Aw. <laughs> Take off. Fragile and temporary. He's like, Let's oh. go. There's nothing else we can do. I don't know, Che. He may be alive. He's just uh, sleeping. There's like, fire pits everywhere, though. Why didn't he just sit by a fire pit? Maybe he's trying. Maybe he's trying to head to that fire pit and he got frozen are you halfway. A message request. If there's a message request, it should come to my com. The message is addressed to the Hova. Whoa. So it's someone I don't know. Patch it through, I guess. He's talking to the car. My ship had finally come in, but in this case, the ship was a battered Hova. Hey, it's Huxley. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps dents in a dime store paint job what who is this the name wanted him. what did i have left to lose and yeah, nothing but my hat i let her know that i was huxley but i uh, left off the private investigator she'd know the deal soon enough um so you're a private investigator and your name is huxley the dame was as sharp as my wife's parting words before she left me and moved back in with her mother. She'd pegged me as a P.I., but I uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. <laughs> Denied. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold I was getting frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all in red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. Whoa. The dame sounded hot as ice, but Pasta's story was so sad it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? I might actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my... I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Pasta was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, God knows what would be left. Dead corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? The I have located corpse. his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. Should I display the nav point? Hey Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a dead corpse? Yes, is what I wanted to say, but the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Hmm. Here I was, some abandoned PI android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. Reminds me of uh, Nick Valentine. In that position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat, but here's the kicker, the story was true. Fine, Camus, give me an F point, we'll take him with us and drop him off on the way. Nice. Right here? Oh wait, no. <laughs> I was like, there's nothing here. Nothing here. Um, I'm assuming it saves.